So for those of you that are familiar with my channel, you know that quite a few of my videos are about treadmills and treadmill parts. And because of that, I have gotten a lot of comments asking questions about things they've seen in my videos and other parts of treadmills, that kind of thing. And so this is just going to be a video to go over some of those frequently asked questions. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. The next question I get comes from my power supply videos and that's where do you get a choke? Now there's two different kinds. In previous videos I have referred to this as an AC choke and I hate to admit it but I was wrong. This is called an inductor. Now what's the difference between an inductor and a choke? An inductor works on AC, a choke works on DC. So they're basically doing the same thing, this one for AC and this one for DC, but instead of this being called an AC choke, it's called an inductor. Now, a lot of treadmills come with these, so that's a great source for these. But if your treadmill does not come with one, this is super simple to make. You can go on Amazon and buy a ferrite donut the green thing inside there, and then just take some wire and do seven wraps of each color and put ends on it. And that's all it takes. This creates a magnetic field and that magnetic field helps eliminate spikes in the power supply. And so, like I said, called an inductor, you can use them. Uh, they're good to use between the wall and circuit boards if you're using the treadmill control board. They're also great to use if you're using an SCR type controller between the SCR controller and the bridge rectifier. Now this, this is a DC choke. And this is super important if you're running an SCR type voltage controller. And not a bad idea even if you're running a, a treadmill motor control board. This works on the same concept as the inductor. It creates a magnetic field and that helps eliminate spikes in the power. Now, if your treadmill doesn't come with one of these and you're using a motor control type board, like say the MC2100, it's not required that you run this. If your board comes with an MC60, which is basically a type of SCR voltage controller, or if you're running an aftermarket SCR voltage controller, this is mandatory. You will end up shortening the life of your motor significantly if you do not order one of these. But again, that begs the question, my treadmill didn't come with one of these, where can I find one? I found the best place to get them is eBay. I originally shot this video about three, four weeks ago. I did all the video for all my Q&A at one time, and at that time, eBay was the best place to find a choke. However, I have found another source for chokes. There is a YouTube channel and a business that has a website that deals in treadmill parts. And the nice thing about them is they sell parts and help people repair their treadmills themselves. Now, obviously, what I'm doing is not fixing a treadmill, it's taking a treadmill apart. But, a lot of the parts and pieces that you need to use a treadmill motor come from a treadmill, including the chokes. And this organization is a great source for said parts. The company I'm referring to is Fitness Technology Services. That is their YouTube channel. I'm gonna add a link in the description for them and they go over lots of tips and tricks on fixing treadmills. And their website to be able to request parts like a choke would be fitnesspartspro.com. And again, I will link that in the description. And now, back to your regular scheduled programming, how to get a choke from eBay. What you wanna search for is treadmill motor choke. Sadly, the people on eBay don't know a whole lot and they get their information from previous listings. And so most of the listings will say treadmill motor choke 
transformer because this choke looks an awful lot like this transformer. And the only way that you can tell the two apart is to count the wires. A motor choke will have two. Power flows in on one side and out on the other. A transformer will have anywhere from three to six to eight wires in it. So two wires is a choke, three or more wires is a transformer. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.